Before we dive in, folks, I want to let you know that I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel and drop a like and just go down in the comments below and let me know what your favorite game is on Nintendo Switch during this generation. Let's go with favorite exclusive game, so not like a port or remaster. Now, the reason I bring that up is because I'm so thankful to all of you. You guys have enabled me to go full time over the past year on YouTube. And what that has done for me is not just made me happier because I'm working a job I love. It's also enabled me to spend more time with my children and be the father I always wanted to be for them. I love my father, but he spent a huge chunk of my childhood working hard 60, 70 hour weeks at a normal job. And that took him away from me. And he missed a lot of my sporting events and music events and a lot of stuff. I just really didn't get to spend a lot of time with my father until I was almost an adult. And I didn't want to do that to my children, have them wait till they're practically moving out of the house before dad's now around a lot more. So you guys have enabled me to work this work at home job that's enabled me to be there for my children. And we want to keep taking this places, keep bringing you better, bigger, more informative content. And to do that, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. That's that's it, help us get to 150,000 subscribers. Let's take this uh, channel to the moon and let's just keep building something special together. We all know Nintendo is gonna be revealing new information, some sort of announcement related to the Nintendo Switch 2 at some point during the fiscal year ending in March of 2025. They stated this themselves in this little tweet they put out on their corporate account that supposedly comes directly from Shintaro Furukawa, of course, again, we don't really think he actually wrote the tweet, but he obviously approved of it. So that's pretty interesting in that of itself. And we've obviously talked a lot about that small little tidbit of information. But because of that tidbit of information, there are things going on that we need to pay attention to. And those things that are going on have to do with Nintendo and their employees in particular, and what they might be hiring and what those hirings mean. Because we have a particular brand new hiring post from Nintendo that went up that seems to be highly related to what's next and could actually indicate the Nintendo Switch 2 is due to come out sooner rather than later. This might even support the March 2025 rumors out there. But again, this is speculative. The news is real, but what it actually means is speculative. So first let's get into where I first saw this, where it says Nintendo's new job openings hints at innovative packaging for future products. And it says Nintendo of America has posted a fascinating new job opening that could signal significant changes for the company's future products. The job, located in Nintendo's main office in Redmond, Washington, seeks a senior graphic designer with a knack for creative and high visibility visibility design projects. The responsibilities include designing hardware bundles and packaging, working closely with Nintendo company LTD NCL in Japan and creating brand and style guidelines. This role suggests a fresh approach to the packaging of future Nintendo products, possibly including the much anticipated Switch 2. This hiring move indicates Nintendo's intention to innovate its product packaging, aligning with industry trends towards sustainability and an enhanced unboxing experience. Nintendo has a history of evolving its packaging strategies, shifting from styrofoam in the GameCube era to using recycled materials for the Switch Lite and Switch OLED. The new designer will likely be tasked with creating appealing and functional packaging for a variety of upcoming products. This includes not just consoles, but also unique items like Ring Fit Adventure and Nintendo Labo, which requires specialized design to attract consumers. As Nintendo aims to expand its influence beyond gaming into the broader pop culture, exemplified by ventures like the Super Mario Bros. movie and the Super Nintendo Land, the company's product presentation must also evolve. Evolve. The new hire could play a pivotal role in ensuring Nintendo remains prominent and innovative in both the tech and entertainment sectors. Now, that is fascinating and a nice take by my Nintendo News. And you can see how if you're hiring someone to handle product design, packaging design, how that really could be about Nintendo's future products, especially because 
they're hiring this person right now, right? So clearly this is about future products. It is a full-time position and they're looking for somebody to design the stuff here in the US but work very closely with Nintendo of Japan. Because again, you're dealing with hardware bundles, you're dealing with hardware packaging, you're dealing with you know potential software designs as an example. How are you going to make the literal physical cartridge things look different? I'm not talking about the cartridges themselves, but like the boxes the cartridges are in. How do you think the overall design should go to make it look better and different and indicate it's a new thing. This is very indicative. So obviously we want to confirm that this is a real hiring. And of course it is. Here's the hiring at Nintendo of America, senior graphic designer. This is a brand new hiring post. This did not exist a week ago. So this is something they are recently hiring for and you can apply for right now if that is something you have experience in. This just gives you a little general information about it. And you can see all the description of duties, which matches pretty much everything that my Nintendo News said, you know, design creative solutions for internal requests using strong technical skills includes, but is not limited to large scale slash high visibility design projects as assigned by a design manager. So yeah, you're going to be end up working on graphics and box designs and all this stuff for things that are going to be highly visible to consumers designs and discusses hardware SE bundles and packaging working closely with NCL. This is that part where it's like, hey, they're literally working directly with Nintendo of Japan to try to figure out how to package and design the packaging and design the look of the packaging and everything for hardware. That is very important. High level of design skill with out of the box thinking helps create brand guidelines and style guides. I think that is one thing as well is when you're looking towards a new generation, you want it to have its own look, its own feel, its own style. You want it to stand out from what you were previously doing. So you have to create brand new guidelines and style guides specifically to make a new product and the games for that product stand out from the rest. So it is understandable that at this time they would want to have new standards for that sort of stuff. Um, understands company priorities and helps drive them with team, drives constructive conversations and constructive feedback in a positive way, understands emerging technologies and innovation in the world of design, brings that knowledge back to the team. So understanding what other products are doing and how they're designing their boxes and their presentations and everything. Obviously, they're looking to be like, hey, we want you to be fully up to date with what the rest of the world is doing and help us come up with something for our purposes. Can be the lead designer or uh, on software titles, setting creative direction, post and communication direction to other designers. So this is where you get into, hey, how are we going to design the look and feel of what is that Nintendo Switch 2 logo box thing going to look like? What, what's the general purpose of our art on our covers? That's also involved in this, not just hardware. Uh, contributes to a team by providing input, feedback, and constructive criticism on designs. Identifies and proactively initiates positive process improvement in the design department. Works independently and collaboratively with other designers and clients. Contributes to overall success of the team. Graphic design for print and digital on a Mac platform with excellent project management skills. Again, Again, you're a graphic designer, so you're going to be involved in merchandising as well. Acts as a peer leader by providing guidance to other designers. Leads discussions and brainstorming sessions. Creates final presentations for large projects. And sets the art direction to launch campaigns by designing the creative set in collaboration with marketing. So again, they're going to be directly involved with the marketing team to market future Nintendo products by helping create the launch campaigns themselves. And you get to work with management regularly. And again, of course, you're going to work with management regularly because you are literally designing things that are going to be used in the worldwide distribution of a new system, right? Uh, so summary of requirements, they want eight to 10 years of related work, Macintosh, computer skills, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all this stuff here. If you guys are interested in applying for the job, those are the requirements. We'll put a link down below as well to not just my Nintendo news, but also a link directly to the job posting. If it happens to be a job that you feel you fit and could apply for, hey, that would be a really neat job to work for Nintendo and help design the packaging for their X system. Also, we have another piece of evidence coming from Nintendo that they are going to be having the system come out sooner than later. In the code base of Thousand Year Door, there is support for 4K resolution. I kid you not, here's a screenshot of the code. Pretty fascinating because again, we know the current Switch doesn't support 4K and there's no way to output 4K. The dock doesn't output 4K. 
There's no 4K support. So why does this game releasing right now in 2024, before the system has been fully revealed and given a release date, have 4K resolution support? Well, you guys could do the math and put it together. It's because the game is already ready to run at a higher resolution on Nintendo's new platform. To me, another indicator that this platform is coming out sooner than we all thought. Now, again, this was discovered after I was already editing this very video. So because of that, most of the rest of this video is going to be focusing on the other aspect but hey, I wanted to make sure I threw this in there because this is also just more news supporting this idea that the Switch 2 is coming sooner than later. One thing I find interesting about this though is when they're hiring a person like this, because this appears not to just be like an underling role, this looks like they're hiring a leadership role, is it does mean that the final packaging for Nintendo Switch 2 and its games probably hasn't been decided yet. And it doesn't need to be decided to show it off. After all, they don't need to actually pack the things in boxes until they're going to ship it to retail, right? And they're not shipping to retail probably any time this year, right? The system's not coming out this year. It's probably not shipping to retail this year. The box designs and all this final stuff probably doesn't need to be done until sometime later in the summer or fall when they would actually start mass manufacturing those boxes and those brandings. So then they could obviously put all the components, pack it up, and get it ready to go. Uh, what I find fascinating, though, is if they're hiring someone right now to manage this, because they probably had someone doing this job before. I don't know if they left or quit, or they just want an additional leadership role on that team. What I find really cool about this is if they're hiring someone specifically to help design this stuff for future hardware and software packages and marketing campaigns, this to me, just wild speculation, but it, it signifies to me that this thing is probably coming out sooner than later. If you're hiring someone to help design the packaging now, well, they're not going to probably be designing that packaging for one, two, three, four years to get a product, all right? Package design usually comes together quite quickly. This is based on just people I've talked to in the industry. When you're designing packages, they're usually not given a year, two years to put package designs together. You get about a good six month window, sometimes a full year, depending on the product. So this to me really feels like this would be getting stuff ready to go to sell stuff by early next year uh, and have this mass manufactured in a way that they could put all the components in it, like mass manufacturing cardboard and whatever other packing materials they use. To me, this just signifies the Switch 2 is coming sooner than a lot of people expect. I say a lot. I don't want to say everyone because, again, look, a lot of people do suspect it'll come out in March of 2025. Uh, there's rumors around it. Uh, there's, you know, the fact Nintendo could do it. I would be a, roughly a year after they announced uh, the system even exists officially front forward facing with the Nintendo Switch successor. So to me, it does make a lot of sense. But I also want it to come out. So I have to recognize there's a lot of copium and hopium. Uh, this is going to come out in March of 2025. But I do really find it fascinating Nintendo is hiring this particular position because I do feel like this position goes ahead and supports the idea of a March release. I just don't think they're going to be in there designing packaging for this system for the next year or two. Like I just, I just kind of feel like it wouldn't take that long to come up with a usable, appealing package design. Uh, and I'm assuming they were having a hard time coming up with one with the current team, hence why they were hiring someone specifically for this role. Because look, they've already evolved even the Nintendo Switch packaging over time, but maybe they're like, hey, everything we keep coming up with idea-wise feels too similar to how we package Switch. We want this to actually stand out. And I can't emphasize enough how important it is that the actual packaging, presentation, art design, all of that stuff actually really matters for a consumer product like this because you want it to feel familiar, but you also want it to give off this pristine new feeling and done in a way that doesn't cost a fortune for the packaging and is obviously done in a way that's a bit more economical and better for the environment. Hence Nintendo going away from styrofoam and stuff. So I really feel like it's an interesting perspective to come up with a brand new design for how the boxes are going to look, how the art's going to look, and how the boxes will function to make this just feel like a brand new product. Uh, I'm very fascinated to see what the final thing ends up becoming. Maybe more fascinated in the packaging for this than I have been in some time. Because again, Switch has evolved its packaging over its lifetime, but how do you go from what that is to something better for a device that's similar? Uh, I don't know. That's 
what they're hiring for is somebody who's really good at that kind of thing and has kept up on current industry trends. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.